Welcome back to Everyday Iowa. So we're going to find out all about the dance challenge. And with me, we have the dance competition director, uh, Jenny Thielman, and Darian Spillman, Kirkwood's head dance coach. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. We're excited to be here. So. What is the Dance Challenge? Yeah, so we are a Cedar Rapids-based company um, that travels all throughout the state of Iowa. Um, we travel about 12 weekends a year, and we're actually expanding outside of the state of Iowa as well. Uh, we provide dance competitions, mm -hmm. uh, large-scale uh, professional productions, um, and we work with local high schools and local colleges to put the event on, And but we're a fundraiser, mm -hmm. so we're raising money for the teams that we partner with. And so that is that kind of what sets you apart from other dance competitions? Absolutely. So yeah, it's not very common that c dance competitions are donating a large portion of their proceeds, uh, but that's definitely what sets us apart, is that um, it's our passion to give back. and. A lot of the teams that we're working with are typically underfunded or under-supported, um, and so everyone's trying to fundraise money for their mm -hmm. programs, and it seems like you're always kind of dipping into the same pool of people when you're selling things, like, you know, candy or wrapping sure. paper. You're always mm -hmm. asking the same people mm -hmm. to buy things, and so a dance competition gives them an opportunity to do something different uh, and raise a large amount of money in a small time. Show what they can do at yeah. the same time. How did this all get started? So yeah, Darian and I um, were the dance team coaches at Kirkwood Community College together, and it started as a competition fundraiser specifically for Kirkwood mm -hmm. uh, Community College dance team. Um, and over the years, it got really big, mm -hmm. and um, I started kind of seeing that this is a this is a business opportunity to take it on the road and help other teams raise money for their programs. And so I resigned. Darian took over as the head <laughs> dance team coach at Kirkwood. Um, so we're keeping that tradition going strong over at Kirkwood, but. But um, yeah, so now we're on the road uh, and, and helping other teams raise money. That's awesome. And Darian, how will this money raised impact your program? So this year we are going to nationals um, in Orlando, Florida. So what we raise on Saturday will go straight towards that. It'll go towards our flights and a little bit of our hotel. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and so you travel around. Every but, weekend. <laughs> but this weekend you're going to be at Kirkwood. Yep. Tell us about that event. Yeah, so this year at Kirkwood, um, it's going to be our biggest event that we've hosted this uh, competition season. We have 180 routines uh, performing throughout the day um, in studios and schools representing the entire state of Iowa. Um, it'll be at Kirkwood Community College in the gym at Johnson Hall, um, and it's all day. It'll be we'll be there from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, hosting the competition, and anyone can come and watch. Mm -hmm. There is a, a small spectator fee, and that's how we're able to give back to the school. Um, but anyone's welcome to come and watch the competition and see the talent. I'm sure you'll have lots of families there. It's watching. always a big, big, big <laughs> ordeal. Grandmas yeah. and grandpas and everybody. Yeah. yeah. Who do you partner with? So yeah, we try to spread the love um, and work with different high schools and colleges throughout. Um, we actually have a waiting list right now. Um, we're scheduling out into 26, 27. Um, and we try to spread ourselves out th over the state mm -hmm. um, so that we're not competing too closely um, with ourselves. But um, any high school, any community college, any university, uh, we'd be happy to partner with. And, and if anybody's interested, they can contact us and get on that list. And how, what's the contact? Uh, well, my email is jenny at uh, thedancechallenge.org. Pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Same as our website, thedancechallenge.org. OK, great. How many people do you have on your dance team? I have 10 dancers and two coaches, including myself. And they've been dancing for a long time? Obviously. Most of my dancers have been dancing since they were three years old, so 18 years. So that's a really know. important part of their <laughs> yeah. life. Yes. And being yeah. on a dance team in college, you can continue that on. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. Well, okay, one more time about Saturday. Mm -hmm. Where, when, how do you sign up, watch? Yeah. So Saturday we'll be at uh, Johnson Hall at the Kirkwood Main Campus in Cedar Rapids. Um, you just show up and you can pay the little fee that we have mm -hmm. and you can go ahead and watch as many dances as you like. Well, yep. so Registration though is closed. We cannot yeah, take any more yeah. dancers. No more dancers. <laughs> yeah. we, are, we are at our capacity for Saturday. Where are you going next? Uh, we'll be in West Virginia next weekend oh, wow. um, partnering with Bridgeport Middle School uh, dance line out there and this will be our second time heading out to that area so we're really excited to be going back. Uh, we're we're growing and we're expanding, so it's really exciting. It's a great way to raise money and mm -hmm. showing people what 
they're putting their money towards. That's too. right. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, make sure you check out the website, thedancechallenge.org, or you can go this weekend to Kirkwood and visit them and watch some great dance routines. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank thanks. you. All right, let's get a check.